My name is Aoi. I'm a plain and gloomy 24-year-old. I have a twin sister, but compared to me, she's a lot more popular. The day after tomorrow is me and Ryuji's wedding! <laughs> I'm so excited! Me too. Hey, are you not going to get married? Huh? What's this all of a sudden? We were both born on the same day and lived the same lives, right? Isn't it sad that we aren't getting married on the same day? Huh? Really? I wanted to get married on the same day as you! But you got married first, so even if you tell me that... Oh, that's right! Ryuji-kun actually has a brother named Eiji-kun. You should get married with him! Excuse me? Hello? Oh, Ryuji-kun! Hey, I got a great idea! Wait, 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 Midori! I can never stop her once she got into one of her runaway moods like this. Oh, but maybe Ryuji-san could stop her. That sounds fine, right? They're both boring, so they're perfect for each other. What? Okay, I'll let Eiji know. Right, okay then. After we go to put our registration in after the wedding, we'll have Aoi and Eiji-kun register their marriage as well. Those two, what's wrong with them? I hardly knew Eiji-san at all. We only met once in a meeting between our families, but neither of us were the sociable type. So, we didn't talk to each other. I didn't think that this was how I would end up submitting my marriage registration. But I was underestimating how forceful Midori could be. The day of the ceremony. Thank you so much for coming to our wedding today! But we have even more great news to share with everyone! Can you believe it? Today, my twin sister Aoi and Ryuji-kun's younger brother Eiji-kun are also getting married! Let's have them sign their marriage certificate together right now! Huh? Huh? Wait! What's going on here? Everyone here seems really into the idea! No way! No way! No way! I can't sign that! And I can't say no! What are you blushing for? If that's what's going on, you better hurry up! Mo mom Come on! Get a move on so you don't keep people waiting! M mom Afterwards, Eiji-kun and I were swept up by the atmosphere, and were forced to sign the marriage certificate. After the ceremony, we submitted it together with Midori. Well then, we'll be going on our honeymoon for a week now. Make sure you treat her right, okay, A.G.? How did this happen? I really did end up marrying A.G. Kun. Just like Midori said. Um... Yes? I'm sorry about my brother. Oh no, no, I, I'm sorry. It was my sister. She was the one who suggested this in the first place after all. I... I was actually happy. I was honestly a bit attracted by you since our families met. By how gentle you seemed. I told my brother that I fell for you at first sight. That's why he went ahead and said all those things, I think. Huh? Then does that mean that you wanted to marry me? Yes. I thought I would be happy if things happened to work out that way. Wait, we've never spoken. Why am I saying... He's... he's kind of cute. Wait, I've never spoken to him before. Why am I feeling happy after hearing about how he feels about me? Do you really... want to try being married? Huh? We... we got married basically for no reason. But maybe... Things might work out if we tried. Since we already submitted the registration, why don't we just go all in and try it out? I, I'd love to. We can show my brother that we can be happier than they are. That's right. Let's do it. 
And that's how Eiji san and I sorted out our feelings for each other. After we were suddenly married, I suddenly ended up living together with him in the apartment where he used to live alone. It was the first time we had ever talked to each other or done anything together. But strangely, I wasn't nervous. Eiji san and I seemed to be similar people. We were both pushed around by our siblings who had the opposite personalities. We weren't conscious that we were married yet, but it wasn't inconvenient living together. On the contrary, I even felt happy. However, Midori and Ryuji-kun's relationship, on the other hand, had taken a turn for the worst in the past month. Midori? What's wrong? Mom said that you got tired of being married and came home. Huh? Nothing really! Isn't it pretty normal to find out you don't really get along with someone after you get married with them? But... Can't you just talk it out with him? It doesn't matter. I mean, things aren't going well with you either, right? No. That's not really true though. What? We get along pretty well. Kind of like the last month. I've been pretty happy. Hmm... I see! Huh! So, Eiji-kun was surprisingly a good man. Yeah, Eiji-kun and I get along pretty well. So, I thought that you and Ryuji-san would also get along well. Since Eiji-san and I are getting along, I'm sure that you and Ryuji-san will be able to get along too. Hmm, I get it. I'll talk it over with Ryuji. Yeah. You should definitely do that. A few days later, while Eiji-san and Dai were having dinner, suddenly there was a visitor at our door. Sorry for interrupting your dinner. We have important news, so we're coming in. Excuse us! Sorry for coming all of a sudden. Important news? Yeah. Let's exchange Midori and Aoi-chan, okay? Excuse me? Wh what are you saying? After Ryuji and I started living together, we just couldn't get along. It's like just being in the same space together was painful. That's right. So, when we thought about what we should do, we had a great idea. So, does that mean all of us are going to get a divorce? No, that would be too much trouble. We'll keep the family registered the way it is and just swap Midori and Aoi-chan. It'll be fine. Nobody will realize if you just change their clothes, since they're twins. Th that's ridiculous. Hey, Eiji-kun. I'm better looking and have a better personality than Aoi. I can be a wife you can show off to your neighbors, you know? Huh? Look, Aoi-chan. I'm sorry about making you marry my boring little brother. I'll be your husband from now on. And I'll take you to tons of fun places. What are they thinking? These two are really... Was their marriage and the marriage they forced us into something that you can just undo so easily? That's enough. Aoi-san is my wife right now. Don't get us involved in whatever problems you have. Eiji-san. Whoa, whoa. Are you trying to show off? You two have only known each other for two months, right? Oh, that's right. You fell in love with her at first sight or something, right? But you know, what about Aoi-chan? You've only been together for a month, right? If it were me, I could make her fall for me in less than that. I... I'm... I'd rather have Eiji san. Huh? It's true that there's still so many things that I don't know about him. But I. I have confidence that I could accept everything about him. Huh? Do you plan to just be happy yourself? Who do you think made it possible for you to marry him in the first place? It was all thanks to you two. Just. Can't you do something about how carefree you are? You just get married because you feel like it, divorced because you feel like it. You're going to end up regretting this, you know? Did you actually talk things through? Did you even try to talk things out? Stop getting into fights for no reason, and stop giving up for no reason. 
Use your brain and think before you do things. That's being the case. Will won't be taking part in this. If you two are going to get a divorce, go ahead. We get it. Ryuji, let's talk it over again. One more time, okay? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, Aoi-chan, Eiji. And then, they left as suddenly as they had came. I was disappointed at how thoughtless they were. But I was happy to know how Eiji-san thought about me. And I'm sure this is the same for Eiji-san as well. Having overcome our first hurdle as a married couple, I felt like we had grown closer. A few years later, my sister and her husband had become our good friends. And we often let our children play together. I was pretty worried about things at the start, but I'm glad that we both managed to become happy. I guess it's all thanks to you. You two only knew each other for a month, but you managed to become such a perfect couple, right? Seeing you two like that made us feel like we could do it too. <laughs> I'm so glad that we were able to talk things out after that. I guess you and Eiji-kun made for good role models, right? <laughs> Stop that. Besides, it was you and Ryuji-san who were close enough to get married first, right? <laughs> I guess you're right! Just like Ryuji-san and Midori got along well, Eiji-san and I also got along. Or, just like Eiji-san and I got along, so did Ryuji-san and Midori. I don't remember which happened first. <laughs> More than anything, I'm happy. Happy that we can spend our days like this, smiling together. <laughs>